Okay, so I talked to you previously about my sleds and my pulling devices. I have been made those myself. Of course, I bought the sleds from the store and I have two sleds. I have the Paris Expedition sled, the orange one usually people use. Then I have the black one you maybe have seen. It's the Pelican sled and uh, you can see the difference. Uh, the Pelican sled which I have, they have uh, different sizes. I have it about one meter long and the Paris Expedition sled is about 140 centimeters long. So I have been using now the sleds about... Uh, I have been using those, uh, now it's the third season. So uh, I have already the 2.0 version made from the Paris sled. But now I'm going to make the 3.0 version. There is, uh, it's working already really good. But uh, I have been, uh, I have found few things which could may, uh, maybe work a little bit better. So I hope the 3.0 version is going to be maybe the best and uh, the ready version. And uh, I'll show you what I'm going to improve this time. So I show you first what kind of modifications I have made for this 2.0 sled. So I have here, there is the ready uh, holes, but I have put the line here. They should, uh, it's supposed to put the pulling devices uh, hole in here in this ready-made hole but you can see it's quite narrow and uh, it's more stable when I pull it from the more from the sides so I had a wider pulling here and I turn the sled over here you can see the line it's actually going around the whole sled and I have another loop here so this is basically I have the screws through here and the bolts and uh, the idea behind this is that uh, when I'm pulling from the upper part it's working really good in the flat and when this uh, when the snow is uh, carrying you really well. But when the snow is not carrying you, you want the front end to go a little bit higher. So when I pull it from the these loops, it works a little bit better. Okay, so in the 2.0 version and the 1.0, I had a different pulling, pulling device. In the 1.0, I had just two plastic pipes and uh, there's actually two pipes here. It's the 20 millimeter and 16 millimeter diameter uh, pipes. And uh, so there's two pipes. The smaller one is inside this one. And I have also this good line inside. So I'm pulling with this line, not with the pipe. And I have a lot of tape here. It's protecting the pipe and People say that the plastic pipe is terrible, but they are wrong when you have two pipes and uh, this, this kind of system, it's really good. So it's working. And uh, these pipes were too, too long ones because we had a longer skis before. Now we have a shorter UAC, uh, OAC skis, so we need a shorter pulling device. There is a, it's easier to move in the forest when you have a, the sled closer to you than like a, three meters behind. So with these two pipes, when you were, uh, usually when you are in the flat area, you want to keep it, it straight, straight like this one. It's easier, but when you're a forest, you want to put it like cross. And uh, it was uh, possible with these pipes, I could change it uh, both ways. But I have been seeing that in my hikes, I, I don't need the uh, cross pipes. 
I'm a lot, lot in the forest, but there's no need for the crossing because I had the short skis and the short pulling device. So my 2.0 device. is actually like this it looks maybe terrible but it's working really good so I did shorten this pipe quite much like half meter then I have uh, of course two pipes left overs and I measured the sled where I attach this but this uh, length it's going to be exactly what is in the sled so this is the 2.0 version and it it was working really good i was testing it in the tunsa wilderness already and i show you later how it works okay and my pulling device is designed to use with the backpack show it here The idea is that I have in the backpack some uh, maybe warm jacket for the uh, coffee breaks, lunch breaks, maybe knife, uh, something to boil water, the bo water and stuff. But really lightweight. And uh, the idea is the loop comes here. And in this point, it's not breaking the backpack in this hip belt and uh, here is the carabine hook so I just sorry here is the loops also the same loop so, like that so yeah, put the loop there, fasten the seat belt. I could maybe make this loop a little bit smaller, but then I can adjust those in the both sides. I had this with another backpack, so I'm uh, in the future I'm going to use this smaller backpack. So I'm going to sort this one quite much. But then it's easy to remove from the back and uh, it's really fast to put on and of course this will be in here like this but I also checked out this backpack and here is uh, this strap here so I'm going to put this one so it's going to for example goes like here and uh, it's not dropping down when I open this one it's really simple and working really good so I have here a few things I want to improve and uh, first of all these loops are, are great but I want to make those much longer and I would like to when it's around my stuff here so they would uh, actually almost touch the loops each others so I it's easier to put the uh, thing the line here which I'm securing these loops and uh, uh, there's number two is with these carabin hooks this makes horrible sound here and if it's touching here actually you see it can open when I pull it this way so it's not working in this so good I had a, like a, maybe 20 times it has been opened here by him itself then the problem number three is with this front of front of the sled. It's bending a little bit forward down, 
So when I'm uh, pulling it in the deep snow, it just like dives into the snow. So I'm going to give it a little bit warm with the heat gun and I try to bend it like this way. So it it's weaving better after that or diving. So those three pro problems and I'm going to solve those now. Okay, now I have the black Pelican sled in version 2.0 and uh, I have the orange Paris Expedition sled in, in the version 3.0 already and uh, or I can I could say maybe 2.1 okay but the third version and the third season is starting and I have made actually one trip in this my third season with the sled already uh, after maybe three weeks I'm going to the next winter trip and it's going to be the Pulju wilderness area and uh, I don't want to be testing first time the sled is there so I hope we get um, we got still some snow that we can test these sleds in uh, in here Turku with my wife Katia but anyway I'm making one video more and I can show you how I pack the sled and uh, I can also if there is snow I can uh, make a snow a small tour here with the sled I can show you in outdoors how it works I think I'm going to make it maybe without the skis because I know the pulling device it's optimized length already for my skis I don't have to test it, I have done it already in the wilderness. And now I just want to test how I improved with the three things I done this time. And uh, yeah, maybe we see you next time.